Mr. Winchell from the CISD Splash Program. Today is our first lesson from Healthy Schools, Healthy Communities, and today's lesson is called Do It Right. So in the past, we've talked about lots of ways to keep our bodies healthy, how to keep our bodies strong. Today, we're going to talk about keeping our bodies healthy by washing our hands. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to look around the room, wherever you may be, and I want you to find one thing that keeps your body healthy. Anything at all. So it could be something healthy like fruit or vegetables. It could be something healthy like hand sanitizer, um, maybe soap and water when we're in the classroom. Today we're going to talk about keeping our hands clean. All right, so look at our slide on the right. That is bacteria or germs. At any given time, we can have thousands and thousands of germs on our hands, especially if we don't keep them nice and clean. So that's what germs look like on the right. So what we need to do is we need to go over the proper steps of hand washing. All right, step number one is make sure we get nice warm water. The warmer the better. Step number two is we want to make sure that we put some soap in our hands. Step number three is to make sure that we wash our hands for at least 20 seconds. So when we're washing our hands, we want to make sure we get in our fingernails, all the places germs like to live in between our fingers, the backs of our hands, the front of our hands, even our wrists. What I tell my younger students is to say your ABCs. If you say your ABCs, that's roughly about 20 seconds. Sometimes in class, I'll play a song for 20 seconds, or you can look at your wristwatch and time it. But you want to wash your hands for at least 20 seconds. The next thing you do after you wash your hands is you want to rinse. But before you do that, you want to make sure that you touch the faucet with something clean. So I like to use a paper towel. Make sure you rinse all your hands clean from the soap. And last but not least, use something clean to wash it or to rinse off your hands. So a clean paper towel or a clean towel. All right, so those are the proper steps of hand washing. Warm water, soap, make sure you wash those bad boys for 20 seconds. All right, make sure you use something clean to touch the faucet because there's lots of germs on a faucet. All right, lastly, rinse your hands and use something clean to, to rinse all the soap off. All right, very good. All right, so I'm going to give you a couple scenarios here, and I want you to tell me what I did wrong. So what did Mr. Winchell do wrong here? So I turned on the warm water, put on my soap, go real quick for four seconds, rinse. What did I do wrong? All right, so I did not wash my hands for 20 seconds. We want to make sure we do the entire time, and we want to make sure that we get in between our fingers, nails, back of our hands, forward. All right, very good. This time, I put some soap on my hands, rub it, rinse it real quick, dry them. What did I forget to do this time? All right, if you said I forgot to do the first step, which is to get warm water, then you are correct. But remember, the very first step is to get nice warm water. All right, here's another scenario. This time I turn on the warm water. I wash for 20 seconds. Then I touch the faucet. And what did I do wrong that time? 
I forgot to use a clean paper towel to touch the faucet. Remember, there's lots of germs on a faucet. So we want to make sure we use a clean paper towel to turn on that water. Very good. All right, let me give you one more scenario. This time I turn on the warm water, put on my soap, wash for 20 seconds, clean paper towel, turn on the faucet to rinse, rinse my hands, and then I wipe them on my coat. All right, what did I do wrong that time? If you said I forgot to to wipe my hands with something clean, you are right. All right, your coat might be kind of dirty, it might have germs on it, so we want to make sure we use a clean paper towel or a clean towel. All right, very good. All right, so if you don't have warm water or access to a sink, and so the next best thing is to use hand sanitizer. So how do we use hand sanitizer? All right, you want to get about a dime-sized squirt, right, middle of your palm. Use that 20 seconds again. So make sure you get in your fingernails, in between your fingers, back of your hands, forward, wrist. All right, make sure you rub it in good. And that is a pretty good way to keep those hands clean. All right, so think of your 20 seconds and use that hand sanitizer. If you don't have soap and water, that is a great way to keep your hands clean before you eat. All right, so hopefully we don't have any questions on why it's important to keep our hands clean. Because those germs that we touch our food in our mouth with can get us, can get inside our bodies and make us sick. All right, so for today's healthy homework assignment, I want you to watch either a brother or sister or even a, a dad or mom, and when they wash their hands, I want you to go through, make sure that they're doing the proper steps. Okay, so one more time, our proper steps are warm water, make sure they're getting soap, Make sure they're going for 20 seconds. When they touch the faucet, make sure they're using some kind of clean paper towel. And lastly, make sure that they rinse their hands and use something clean to wipe their hands with. All right, thank you boys and girls. We will see you next time with lesson number two. Make sure that you're eating lots of fruits and vegetables, eating from the five food groups, and getting lots of exercise. I'll see you next time.